Sell, sell, sell. Sorry. What? Oh, yeah. If we had bouncers, that'd be good. I like how serious it all of a sudden. That's one waste of space right there. Anyhow, like I was saying, have you seen this Jack Daniels commercial? It's a brand new commercial. Yes. It's a brand new commercial. I said yes. Yes. We're having just a conversation. Everyone can leave. I'm just going to talk to you. I'm just going to go one on one. Shoot the shit. Tag Facebook post me if you have anything else to say. Put it right on my Facebook. I promise. This new Jack. First of all, does anybody like Jack Daniels? Be honest. Woo! It tastes shitty. Let's be honest. I once, I've seen a bum just say, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know what? I'm trying to turn my life around. I'm not going to go with that type of whiskey. Jack Daniels is so awful, but the new commercial, it's the craziest scheme I've seen ever. And I'm just going to be serious. You've probably seen it. It's a slow, it's a couple slow dancing by their fireplace in formal wear with a little glass of Jack Daniels on the fireplace. And they're just slow dancing around. Slow dancing around. And this voice comes out. The narrator says, the secret to Jack Daniels is the smooth, unfiltered, never forgotten tradition. What the fuck does that mean? How's that a secret? <laughs> the secret to Jack Daniels, verbatim, is the smooth, unfiltered, never forgotten tradition. That's a secret to Jack Daniels? No, 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 no. That makes no sense. Plus, you don't put on formal wear when you drink Jack Daniels. No, you don't. You shave your pubes in your own kitchen sink with your eyes in the back of your head. You get out the iron and you try to iron the wrinkles out of your scrotum when you drink Jack Daniels. You start a fight with your grandpa. You know, a fist fight, a verbal fight. You can win those fights. Grandpas can't fight. That's Jack Daniels. But that won't mark a Jack Daniels. I guess I understand the formal wear and the slow dancing by the fireplace and all that bullshit. How about the commercials? Because I now shave. I'm old enough to shave my face. And uh, the commercials for every single razor, it's a guy without a beard, just in a bathroom without a toilet, and no shower, just lights, and astronauts floating around behind him. You see this? Like jet engines? Chick! <laughs> it's like the most exciting experience. Just him in a towel, no beard, doing this. And this girl comes from out from nowhere, just wants to fuck. Love shaving! Love shaving! What razor is this? Unfortunately, it's not accurate. I shave! I shave! It's not that glamorous. There's no jets! There's no astronauts floating around when you shave. If I was writing that commercial, I'd just have one big, hairy, fat guy. In overalls. Why not? One strap down. The big, fat, hairy. Picture the earthquake if you're a wrestling fan. Just sitting there. You're, you're thinking, oh, okay, he's gonna shave himself. You know, uh -uh. you open the door, you release 70 bald cats. <laughs> That's the end of the commercial. You're like, oh, I had a shave earlier today. That's the commercial. You'll recognize that razor in the story. Oh, okay, he shaves the cats bald. That's the kind of shave I need. Speaking of bald cats, the Olsen twins did not grow up to be hot. Remember when we all thought that was going to be the case when they were like 14, 15, 16? The Olsen twins look like bald kitty cats. They smoke, they're shivering, they're covered in wet bullshit. Now, one of my buddies is the most disgusting man on the planet. I'm not making this up either. He had a calendar. Counting down the days until the Olsen twins turned 18. Think about how gross that is. How weird that is. He actually bought the calendar, counting down the days, until the Olsen twins are 18. As if a guy that disgusting would meet the Olsen twins one day, and they're 17, and they want to fuck, and he'd be like, no, no, no. Ah! Not until your girls are 18. If you own the calendar, counting down the days, first of all, you're disgusting. Second of all, you would do anything at that point. You'd probably drink Jack Daniels and shave your balls and you're insane. <laughs> All right, enough about me. Oh, man. So about ten years ago. Ten years ago. I can remember that long. The 90s, it was different. We didn't know what was good or what was bad. I got a pamphlet or a brochure more like that in the mail. A brochure and... It was for the, one of those spring break trips. Summer break, senior trip, just craziness. You look through the brochure, the first page, it's like people dancing. People, the next page, like people on the beach, just suntanning, like great. The next page, like a phone party, like, all right. All right, the next page, it's a Puerto Rican girl with two dicks in her face. And you're like, oh, all right, I'm going. So I booked the trip, no joke. I actually went down to Puerto Vallarta. And you think about the first time in your life, everybody right now, just let's all think together for a moment. What's the first time you ever heard the phrase, eat shit? It means fall down. And if I'm educating you right now, I promise you, eat shit means fall down. If I fell down right now, somebody in the back would be like, oh, he just ate shit. <laughs> he just ate shit up there. I don't understand the correlation or the connection at all between falling down and eating shit, but I remember on this trip is when I found out. This is when I found out 
what it meant. So I get off the plane. I'm in Mexico. First of all, that's crazy. Right? An iguana just walked by me with the tequila bottle. <laughs> Didn't even say anything, but that happened. It was taped to him, but hey, that's how they roll down there. The donkeys are painted to be zebras. It's not a joke. I said I'm from San Diego. Forty bucks? I'm not here to fuck them. So I'm just unpacking in my hotel room. That's what happens. You go to Mexico on a trip like this, and you're so excited. You just want to hit the lobby bar. You want to go to the shore of the phone parties. You want to meet that Puerto Rican girl in the brochure. So I'm just suitcase totally sober. Just open my suitcase. I'm unpacking. And out of nowhere, this girl runs into my hotel room. Full speed. She runs in. She goes, guys. Someone just ate shit on the stairs. <laughs> what? She was so fucking out of her mind. This little frizzy haired troll who ran into update every hotel room in Mexico. Somebody just ate shit on the stairs. I was like, that's not in the brochure. This is the craziest hotel. What am I picturing at that point? I hate to get graphic. I hate to get bold. I've never heard that phrase in my life. Falling down means eat shit. So at that point, I went outside slowly. And I'm picturing a guy on the ground just so hammered. He's eating shit on the stairs. And I was like, so freaked out. And one of my friends was like, oh, man, he's okay. He's okay. He just fell down. I was like, no, 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 no. He may have fallen down afterwards, but he ate shit on the stairs. Like, ah. Yeah, that's what happened. That's when I learned the phrase. Folks, it's so good to be with you in San Francisco, California. A round of applause for all the comics tonight. <laughs> <laughs>